Rock and stone to the bone to all the amazing people and welcome to another episode of the Pro Galactic Survivor and Auto Shooter game in DRG Universe that I'm enjoying a lot. Today I'm gonna go to Magma Core and choose a gunner with a uh, Let's Storm Powered Minigun and I'm gonna try to see how good is this weapon. I think it's pretty bad but last time I kind of took it I uh, wasn't really good at the game yet. But I think my recent success in this game is mostly about picking very strong weapons. So we're gonna see how that goes. I think it's gonna be really hard. So the weapon that we're comparing it with will be Thunderhead. On Thunderhead I have some very easy wins, doing lots of mistakes and still be able to cleave through hordes of enemies without too much trouble. Uh, I'm gonna grab a blue here, it will make this thing more powerful. Although, like, I'm not really super confident that was the right choice. Because I will be, like, I will be investing most of... That was definitely a wrong choice, by the way. I'm gonna explain soon why. So, uh, I'll be investing mostly into my my uh, lead storm minigun here. And, uh, yeah, I just wanna see how it fares on itself. So, I'm gonna be avoiding level ups on other weapons. So, uh, let's grab reload speed. Yeah, so that blue was basically like a white upgrade on a lead storm without the capability of uh, actually overclocking it. So that was pretty, pretty bad. Okay, well, doesn't matter. So yeah, so the goal here on first stage is to get to like level 20 at least and uh, yeah, and use that good starting level to like snowball through the game now level 20 is nothing super huge but it's decent it's decent you will see i will have to like uh, avoid the elites for quite a bit like farm and uh, yeah kill a lot of other enemies in order for that to happen so okay so now the horde's approaching i'm gonna mine some nitra here and then i need to find a way out uh for my secondary weapon Let's grab some damage over time, sure. That that sounds like an okay choice. Okay, and then I'll try to sneak through here. Now we could be blowing this up. I don't want to do it yet. I feel like the elites might come sooner than. I still don't know, like by heart, what exactly the mechanic is with the whole elite. It says draw out the elite. I do assume if you kill many enemies, it's gonna come sooner. Let's grab the green one here. And a lot of people complain about that, so I assume it's true. Although. I can't say that I saw like any, how should I say it, sure information, sure fire, sure thing information that I would be like, hey, that's exactly how it works. But I think, I think that's how it works. But anyway, uh, we're gonna need to focus on mining here. That's what you wanna do first anyway, so. Okay, and I did not actually dig out the drop supply pot, which is kind of bad. Okay, grab some damage. Now, I want some utility, like movement speed and health and and armor and maybe even pickup radius. But not yet. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. That was bad. I made a mistake there. Stayed too close to the elites. Okay, now we need this mined out. We're gonna use our enemies to do the job for us a little bit. Okay, so you can see how they are mining as long as like they have to go into me. So they mined out all the gold there and now we have a little bit more down there to to remove and we'll be done. And the reason why I need this, especially in stage one, is like on stage one you're really, really weak. Okay, is this ready? I think. I got movement speed here. Yeah, it's ready. So, especially if I have the goal of reaching level 20 here, I'll need... I need to kill lots of enemies and by the time I'm happy with the experience I might not be in a position to actually like kill the elites. Now the good good thing about the, the lead storm is it shoots forward so I can delay killing the elites. Oh, this is... This. <laughs> like it's such a good late game upgrade but right now I really don't know if I wanted it. Now there's some nitra there but I think it would be very greedy to try to go grab that actually. I can't say I'm super happy about how fast things are not dying here. They're just not dying, so. I think, I think, I think I got to this stage without enough upgrades. But yeah, let's just keep moving, keep collecting experience. This is not good, let's grab that I guess. Increase that crit chance, we got 
plus 50% critical damage, so crit chance must be good, right? Okay. Go through here, grab that. And hopefully these all clump up nicely and I can like get some good explosions going here. They're already happening, kind of, so that's pretty nice. Okay. I'm gonna sneak into here, blow that up. Uh, that's a hard decision. Let's grab piercing shots. I want piercing shots for sure. Okay, things are starting to happen, so that's good. But I feel like enemies are already pretty fast, so it's gonna be like quite an achievement to get to 20 and get out of here, I think. But hey, never say never. Some movement speed will be nice. I kind of really, really need it. Level 13. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go grab that. Okay, reload speed, really good. So that's gonna help. Okay. Things are kind of like... Okay, I did manage to clean the hordes out quite a bit. They're much smaller. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. So, again, a pretty decent weapon if you can like upgrade it a lot but I'm not gonna be doing that it's gonna give me some nice cover though while mining especially at the start of second stage and all that good stuff I'm gonna grab the damage here for all the projectile weapons which includes the the main cannon here okay okay need to go through here oh no this this one dude this one dude messed up my plans but that's okay maybe I can circle back Things are really going out of hand. Okay, let's go and drop the hammer. Level 16, not exactly what I wanted, but... Okay, mining speed, because it's blue. Reload speed. Okay, level 19. Okay, that's my goal. Now, where is the... Where is the drop pod? I forgot. Okay, it's down here. Maybe I could do it without, but... I think it would be risky. Like this rat thing, Oof, so, so, so dangerous, so dangerous. Okay, let's grab that, start filling it up. Make sure both of these are inside when it drops. Bam, good. Uh, and then artifact-wise, I guess this is okay. This is also decent. Let's grab, just grab raw power here. Not be greedy right now. Some luck, maybe. Okay, move through these. And now, yeah. Now, I cannot be stingy here. If I get hit, I get hit, you know? We need to go. We need to go before everything closes up. I feel like I was here for much longer than I should have. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. I think this is a safe spot to stand at. Let's check out the theory. No, it's not. Okay. Alright, so we can get hit here by ranged attacks. Okay. Uh, yeah, I might have saw somebody standing on top of that ramp to the side to try it out. Okay, it's not as foolproof as I thought. Okay, let's heal up a little bit. Almost died as well. Oosh. Okay, let's grab that upgrade. That's good. Uh, let's grab the critical chance. Sure. Let's reroll. Movement speed. I need some. I really struggled with that. That will be it, actually. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, so first stage, good enough. Uh, level 11, if I can get to 18 on this stage, I'll like get weapon online and then I'm gonna feel super comfortable. If not, I might even die here, so... Um. Upgrade arm score Koi Gun to level 12. I didn't even unlock that, did I? How can I... I unlocked the arm scroll Koi Gun? Really? That's pretty interesting. Okay, uh, let's go... Here, I guess. Grab this objective. Okay, a little bit scary, but it's okay. Against these weak bugs, I guess the sidearms are doing their job well enough. Okay. I mean, you're always gonna have some kind of side weapon, so I think that's fair. The most important thing here for me is not to grab the Thunderhead, because f that thing, I know it's amazing, so that's gonna be that. Okay. So far, happy how things are going. Finding some gold. Okay, being able to mine some. Uh, let's just go to fire, I guess. Not sure how that's gonna be, but I already have piercing, which I think is the most important one. And now, uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave that ore there. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna explode this whenever I can. There's nothing worse than running from something and then being forced to either run into the enemies or those exploded things so these can help you out with the with, oh come on really 
See, they're dangerous. I told you they're dangerous. That was huge range, by the way. Okay. Things are getting a little bit out of hand here. My health's melting. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's focus up, I guess. Okay, grab this. What do you mean, Yumer? Aren't you always focusing up? Well, let's not do risky stuff. I guess that's what I want to say here. Okay. So sometimes I'm going to do some risky mining where I stand very, very close to enemies while mining. Hoping they're just going to die in the last moment and then get hit if they don't. Okay. I don't think I can afford too much of that this episode. Well, at this stage right now. Is this thing ready to drop? Not. Okay, I need to go mine this out. Now it's ready. Good. Again, I'm going to use that to kill the elites. It's like, if you're not sure if your weapon's good enough for elites, you can always use that drop pod thing to kill them, so that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna do another circle here. Elites are coming already. Already! Okay, mm. let's see. None of these I want. I'm actually gonna reroll here. Ah, uh, that was a waste. Okay. Well, every time you roll, you get a chance for blues, you get a chance for epics, and well, of course you get a chance to get the upgrade on your main weapon that you're focusing on. Now, I'm not saying the focusing on one weapon strategy is the best one. Uh, it really depends what kind of weapons you have. Okay, let's grab the Bulldog. It's gonna help me clearing things that are close to me. And look at me being max HP, hmm? So I guess the, the focus up thing did actually work. Saying to myself, hey, stop humiliating yourself on the YouTube. You need to, you need to do better than that. Now, I'm not sure what level I want to reach here. Uh, I feel like... Okay. It's actually doing okay-ish damage. I mean, Thunderhead would already kill it probably though, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just... Okay. Now the question is, do I drop the hammer right away or not? Like, I'm a little bit worried about... Like, the first stage, I felt like... It was so, so close to dying for me. I really want to be greedy here, but... I don't know if I can afford it. I do want to overclock my main weapon though. I'm not getting upgrades for it. So that might influence my decision to stay a little bit longer here. Oh yeah, it's starting to kind of kill stuff. So that feels pretty good. So I'm not feeling like super defenseless. It's still taking a little bit. But I can kind of punch through. Once you can start punching through hordes reliably, then you can stay quite a bit longer, actually. Okay, grab some movement speed since we are greeting. Okay. Okay. That was not great. Can we get through here? We can. Uh, level 27. Okay, well, now I cannot drop it even if I wanted to because there's enemies all around. Okay, let's do another little bit of a walk around the place. Magnet would be really good, but I don't know if you have one. Didn't notice it. I wasn't on top for a while now. Okay. I'm spraying the enemies a little bit, so at least they caught fire, catch fire, so they can start dying, hopefully. Okay. Map's not very clear also, so... I'm not even sure I can dig through this before the red ones catch me. Hopefully I can. I can get. Okay, let's go and drop the thing. Level 28. Yeah, that's not ideal, but okay. The bugs are growing stronger. There we go. Grab those experiences and then maybe that. Okay, I'm going in the right direction. This is pretty nice, I guess. Well, somehow, some way, I, I survived. I can already tell you, this weapon's much weaker, I think, than the than the Thunderhead. Like, way weaker. It's just, it's harder to use. And does less damage. <laughs> There's not much merit to it. Like, okay, let's see what... Let's heal. Okay, let's see. Fire rate might be a good idea, especially for this. Both this and the... Yeah, sure. And the passive. 
I kind of want to reload, reroll, try to get that. Yeah, that and that. That's really good. And I'm going to do it once more because I have more. Like, I really needed to overclock to see how is it when it's overclocked. Nothing here interests me. So three more levels in it to overclock. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. Okay, explode that. Let's go. Yeah, I, I struggle. I struggle. I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't recommend this weapon. <laughs> if you're like, hey, no, you're just bad. Yes, I do lots of mistakes, but you know, I just like play and relax and have fun and talk all the time. It's not easy. So like, but if you grab the, over, the Thunderhead, it's like, it's like a totally different game. I have some uh, videos with it. You can go and check it out and you'll see what I'm talking about. Like there's, there, there's one called like Thunderhead, my miracle weapon, something like that. I think it might be my first Hazard 5 win actually with it. I mean, it's not useless this weapon, but considering I put like so many points in it already, but okay, okay, let's let's get it overclocked. That it might become like super weapon at that point, yeah? Lots of weapons become super weapons when they are overclocked. Okay. It could also be that fire made it bad, but I don't know. I don't think I have any kinetic upgrades anyway, so that didn't make it worse. Okay. Maybe the other, other overclock was just so much better that... Okay, that wasn't that great. Let's heal up then. Okay. Okay, where is it? There. Okay. Oh, and now we're gonna get the, the blue guys also. I really hate those. They're, they're tough. They're tough. And like with the Thunderhead, you actually have chance to actually... You have a chance to kill them. Like, it does decent damage to them and... It's not gonna kill them super fast, but if you're just walking around shooting at random stuff, eventually it's gonna do it. I'm thinking here to actually stop mining and just focus on overclocking. That was not good. That wasn't any good. Okay, go through here maybe. I don't know, blow these up. Move through here. Go down here, go up here. Can we get another level? Okay, I need some more more kit. There's some Nitra here, but I'm risking of getting surrounded by mining it. I was like, I'm not gonna mine anymore, and then I go and do it anyway. Another swarm. Okay. My plan is to escape through here, basically. Okay. Come on. Faster. Oof, almost got ripped apart by that mini elite. Okay. And then I think we have some experience on this side of the map. So let's do that. Okay. Oh, there's a magnet. Okay. Let's hold our ground here for as much as we can. I'm going to grab the magnet. I think that's the plan. Okay, fire rate. Okay, I need one more. Okay, let's grab it. And then get out of here. Movement speed. Yeah. Experience gain. No, but... Okay, level 18. What do we get? The favorite. Okay, that's ideal. More damage, more reload speed. All the weapons get weaker. But since I'm focusing on what weapon, this is exactly what I want. Will this, like change things around now for the better we'll see i mean it's gonna double its weapon uh, i mean it's gonna double its damage so surely it's good right okay Let's see if i can kill the oh i got exploded by something okay that thing actually died and the elites are actually getting destroyed so that's good okay let's go drop this thing then since elites are dying anyway Did they both die here? I'm not sure, let's see. They did, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, like all I wanted was the overclock here and... Now we can like comfortably move on. Now, of course, could have grabbed more experience. Uh, let's do a movement speed. Grab this. 
I mean, I already 41, so it should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna grab that, I guess. Not really what I want, but... It's alright, it's alright. Like, level... F if I can get to level 55 or so, that's about it. Like, those last, like, 5 to 10 maximum upgrades you can squeeze in if you can get, like... I, I was never above level 65, so... Uh, yeah. It's like becomes so so much harder to get anything at that point. Do we grab armor here? Might be good. It's not gonna save him from the boss though. Let's grab movement speed instead. And let's see. Some of these are kind of cool, but let's see what else we can get. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm just gonna reroll some more. Sure. Okay, that's good. That's great actually. What did you say? I think that's what useless? No. 35% we'll damage. That's really good. Okay, I'm getting some good stuff here. Okay. Like now the last storm is like plus 578% damage, reload speed plus 140% and fire rate plus 50%. If that can't do it, then it's a weak weapon. I think the build is strong enough. I mean, I think the amount of upgrades I put into it, it's, like, feasible. Okay. Okay. So, look at that. They're burning, they got hit, but they're still alive. <laughs> uh, it's a weak weapon. I mean, it shoots out a lot of bullets, so, of course, each bullet is not gonna be super good. Like, I should stand like this on to the sideways while mining, you know? Like... <laughs> It's kind of like it, it tires you. It's like having to position all the time like that. It, it's really tiring. So, but yeah, I, I remember when I was playing this dude for the first time. I was practicing that skill a lot, and yeah, you can you can become really good at it actually. Okay, just a tiny bit too close there. Okay, let's move on. Grab this market. Oh, come on. There was something there. There was a bug there that hit me. Okay, let's go through here. These are fast. It, okay, let's move on. Okay, now I'm gonna wait for them to clump up a little bit here before I go left. So, so something you have to learn. Okay, get everything inflamed. Move on. Okay. My damage over time is not really upgraded at all, so... Like, this weapon being fired probably doesn't do much. But I don't know, maybe it does, who knows. We'll see the fire damage at the end of the run, I guess. Although I think, like, when they walk over fires in general, that also counts, probably. Okay, I think that should be enough if I grab this one as well. Okay, I'm gonna do it for this side, because then... Maybe not, okay. Right! Right, right, right. Okay, grab some healing. Feeling much, Feeling much better now, that's good. I'm glad. Mm. Okay, he got hit there anyway. Mm. Alright, what else do I want to do here? Um. Oh, got hit by that. But these actually don't hit for that much. They hit me for like 8. I, I could swear I always get hit for it by them, so I wonder, like, I wonder, like, do I always have about the same amount of armor, what's happening with that, how does the armor work, does it, like, linearly move stuff, okay, I don't really like any of this, I'll grab this, I guess, how fast does my weapon reload anyway, it might be kind of useless, oh, come on, I'm looking at the, the reload bar, Okay, it's kind of fast, so probably a waste of, waste of uh, points. Okay, I don't think I can clear this out right now. Okay. Now is there gonna be something meeting me there? No, okay. Okay. Um... Come on, dude, kill something. Blech, blech, blech. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. I got spoiled, guys, I got spoiled. Alright. Uh, 
Okay. You're on fault for being full of goodies. Okay, go down here. Fire it! Yes, please. Okay, I'm gonna run through here. Let's find the drop pod. Okay, this is weird. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna get surrounded. Let's go down here. Okay, I still didn't do the mission, so that's good. I feel like I need to like stop moving for a little bit so most of the enemies clumps up. But I don't want to do it too much also so they don't close me off too much. Especially since soon there's gonna be more of them, right? So Okay. <laughs> this weapon's not gonna be able to kill the dreadnought in any reasonable time frame. Okay. Hmm, maybe I should just drop it. It's becoming a little bit insane. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, there is the magnet I totally forgot about, so that might give me some nice upgrades here. These bugs are not your friends. Yeah, yeah, I would have never guessed. They're not biting my ankles or anything, like, who would have guessed that? Uh, okay, I'm not getting to the supply pod right now, that's for sure. No, I'm just getting this to right here. I mean, I can try to run through here, but it's gonna cost me a lot of HP. Yep, it's not good. The weapon's not good. Now, I could have, like, maybe leveled things a little bit better, and... Be a little bit more powerful and you might be like hey but if you use this side weapon or that one might be better hey if you explode the the boom guys a little bit better you can actually clean this up can i oh, come on <laughs> where did that one dude come out from <laughs> oh, okay let's try to run uh... Okay, one of the elites died, so there's hope, I guess. Okay, the other one died also. Okay. Well, that's nice, I guess. Level 48. Okay, I am missing some levels, but it does come down to, like... It does come down to the whole situation, right? Okay. Okay, I moved a little bit too much forward, but that's fine. I wouldn't get like miracle levels here. Okay, this is getting intense. This is getting intense. I don't have... Okay, this might help. <laughs> that's really good. Uh, like maybe getting some side weapons to be like, uh, you know, side arms to give bonus damage to the main gun might help, but I know Thunderhead can do it without, so... Oh, critical damage, sure. Like, all the damage, all the damage, and just sit back and hope. Fire rate. Might as well. All right. Okay, let's dig out an arena. Now, of course, like, having only three artifacts is not going to help either, but... I didn't think there's any way I get out of that stage alive with... Um, without actually dropping the supply pot on the on the elite's head, but I think the explode debugs actually kill them. It's just good. Okay. I'll definitely drop the supply pot on top of the the dreadnought's head. I need it. But we just picked up lots of damage, so who knows? Who knows? Maybe things change dramatically. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Let's let's grab some meta upgrades here. Like I need so much more to actually be able to Upgrade those. Okay. There I am, Mr. Miner guy. You should use a better weapon. But this is actually... I think this is good for the game. Like, this is the first weapon you have available on this class. If this weapon was any good, like, you would feel bad when you unlock weapons which are worse, right? So you want to... Like, all the other weapons that you unlock should be better than the Storm Cannon. Because otherwise, well, what's the point of the whole 
unlock mechanic, right? So, I think it's good for the game. I think it's good for the game. It is not good for me right now, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, it's actually killing stuff, so that's good. So yeah, that legendary upgrade, maybe it was everything we needed. Now, the Dreadnought is still going to have a ton of health like it usually does, but... Okay, I totally... Like, I should definitely mine more, though. I should definitely mine more. Not not for credits and stuff, but to, like... Um, okay, that was not great. To clear the area, you know? Like, so we have better... Like, when you move away from the Dreadnought, the more space you have, the better off you'll be, you know? Okay, got some healing. Okay. Th this feels like a nice place we can maybe run into. Okay, that's good. Okay, spray. 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 Turn around. Mine like this. Good. No, like, the small bugs are kind of dying, but... Okay. The elites are not really. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, turn around, mine like that. Ugh, the Mactera is gonna be a problem now though. We need to bail. Okay, grab this. Oh, it's a magnet. Okay. Got damage a little bit there, but it's fine. Okay. Movement speed. Always the movement speed. It's like movement speed, like if everything else fails, movement speed is gonna help you out. You can stay in the level for so much longer if you have adequate movement speed, it's kind of insane. Thing is, I cannot, like, I cannot mine reasonably fast while also aiming this weapon at the enemies. I just can't. You should get good, Neomer. You should get good. Oh, look, it's another Mactera. Great. We heard you would like to mine, so we decided to drop by and stop you doing it. Plus 728% damage, plus 430% reload speed, plus 86% fire rate. And then you turn around and you put a whole bunch of bullets into the Mactera and you can all barely notice the difference. Tell me this is not crazy. This weapon can't kill anything. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, it's slowly gonna grind them down, but... Okay, here comes the Dreadnought. I'm, I'm not where I want to be. Okay, that was kind of lucky he didn't jump. Okay, <clears throat> I should have died there. That was a mistake. Being in that corner. I was just I was just admiring how little damage I do. That's That's the whole thing, really. I was just admiring. I think even the cry grenade do more damage to it. Okay. No, 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 calm down, calm down. Okay, that worked, that's good. So, that actually... So... <laughs> half HP gone, only half way to go. Yeah. It's not gonna happen, it's not gonna... Like, another problem is, like, I can't really shoot at it continuously, you know? I need to move and then turn around, and then the weapon is not cooperating, it shoots everything but it. Okay. And now we also got the big blue stuff. I don't remember when is the last time we had this big... Like, is this normal? To have the, the blue worms on on the final stage is definitely making things way worse. Maybe it's the magma core thing. I might reconsider... No, it's not magma core. These things are everywhere, right? Okay, now we are like in our charted territory. I might clutch it. But the weapon still sucks. I'm not gonna clutch it. There's no way. It just takes way too long. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's storm. Sucks. <laughs> That's why right. it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun. So yeah, if you're doing bad in the game, check if you're using this weapon. If you're using this weapon and putting a lot of points in it, stop. Avoid it. Uh, if you're playing the, if you're playing the. The gunner, just, just don't, just, you know, 
And if that's the only one you have, like the one with this cannon, just like play and have fun and like unlock the better one and then play that. <laughs> because I think I think I actually got it like to a decent amount. Like it was decently powerful. I'm not sure if Dreadnought actually has armor. Like that would maybe explain why this was so abysmal. Because like the small enemies were kind of dying from it, right? But then when I was shooting at the Dreadnought, it almost did nothing. So uh, maybe, maybe this thing has like, every bullet does a little bit of damage, but if enemy has armor, it reduces it linearly. That would explain this huge fiasco, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. We did a lot of fire damage. Maybe, maybe putting fire on it was a mistake, but like it still dealt damage, right? It's not like making it do fire damage reduces damage in general. So I don't think that's the reason. I just think it's bad. It's like the first weapon you have available in the gunner and it's not really good. And that's okay for the game, right? So next time, next time. Yeah, hopefully if you enjoyed this experiment, if you learned something from it, that was a weird thing. Like, was that a scout for a moment there? If you learned something from this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, I'm sweating actually, this was crazy. Uh, and yeah, uh, okay, let's upgrade something. Bam, good. Uh, am I close to something else? Not kind of not really okay so let's see next time what i'm doing i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna go on hazard 5 again i'm gonna go with the engineer and i want to try something so i read on the internet that maintenance worker is actually really strong uh so i'm gonna grab man maintenance worker and i'm gonna invest a lot into lmg gun platform so basically the exactly same thing i did in this episode right so i'm gonna grab the the first starting class for engineer and i'm gonna put all the points into the lmg gun platform and uh see how so see how well that does and uh, and yeah that's gonna be the next video so have a wonderful day, do some nice things, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Rock and Stones the Bone, the Universe signing out. Bye-bye.